YouTube, what's going on? Back at you with another video. So in today's video, we are going to cover how to spot reversals. So before we get started, I just want to say reversals, no one knows where it's going to reverse, right? So it's definitely very hard to predict. In trading, you definitely want to avoid predicting. Um, and if we knew where it was going to reverse, we would all be millionaires. So um, it's definitely very hard to get the exact point of a reversal. Uh, so in that case, the way we can spot reversals is by using technical analysis. Uh, and with technical analysis, um, you have to identify patterns, you have to use volume, you have to use some indicators, uh, you know, whatever it is, there's so many different ways to spot these reversals. Um, so I'm going to cover five of my favorite ways to identify this reversal pattern. Um, there are five patterns that I typically use. So let's get into it. Here are the different types of patterns that I use to spot a reversal. First of all, lower highs and higher lows. It's very important if you are in well, before you have to spot a reversal, you have to understand the trend that you are in. If you are in a sideways moving trend, right, you ideally want to stay out of that as obviously you want to either make money on the, the upside or short on the downside. Um, so you definitely want a trend to be there on the daily time frame, uh, right, the overall trend that's way easier to spot on like the the daily time frame, the weekly time frame, monthly, and so on. It's definitely hard to find a trend on, for example, the 15 minute, right? Everything's going to look very choppy. Uh, so use a larger time frame to understand what point of the trend you are in. You are going to want to look to see if there are lower highs and higher lows. So for example, I drew this out right here before. Um, and let's use this as an example, All right? So here we have a trend, right? So picture this as a one day time frame. Um, right? So one day candles or one day, uh, whatever it is. Um, and you could see, right? So we move up, we pull back a little bit, and we have a double bottom right here, right? So you can use that as a support. Um, also on the top here, we have a line of resistance. So this is a bull flag, right? So we're also, this is just a normal pullback. Uh, if we pulled back below this previous low, then I would consider, you know, moving down to the, to the downside. Uh, but we break out, we move back to the upside, we consolidate again, right? So like I said before, you move up, you consolidate, you move up, you consolidate, uh, you move up. Uh, and you just need to look for these patterns, right? So here again, we have a symmetrical triangle, bull flag type pattern. Um, and what these patterns allow you to do is have a very defined risk to reward. So for example, on this one, you would enter at the breakout, right? So your entry would be right over that high uh, and your stop loss would be right down here. So you have a stop loss set below and you have a target price up above very defined set of rules and if you wanted to do that to the short side it would be the same thing right so you enter at the low and the target is the previous resistance uh, below which would be that so very defined set of rules when trading with patterns which is why i love it um let's move this over um okay so one of the first patterns that I wanted to cover is a double top. And a double top is a great sign of a reversal. So as you could see, right, we move back to the upside, we reject just like we have here, right? We don't know if this is just going to be a pullback or an actual rejection. So we need to continue to play it out as price moves on. Always adjust to price. Don't just have one mindset about direction and trade just on that because you will continue to lose you always need to adjust you always need to change according to price and news and all that so we have a rejection we have a pullback and we had a little double bottom here so you could definitely play a uh, to the upside right off of the support once you see some more volume come in you can use emas smas moving averages whatever you want vwaps 
um, and your target price would be the all-time high level or the previous resistance. And once we approach that area, that's a great place to take profits. That's also a great place to leave runners. Um, and you have to watch price action. If you come back to the downside and you retest this previous level, right? This is a, this is a previous resistance, which in the future is going to act as a previous support, which, right, it usually looks like that, right? So a previous resistance becoming a new support before uh, moving lower. So after that happens, after this bounces and falls through, right, your next target is going to be that previous support. So this old support is going to act as either a new support or a new resistance. And in this case, in the little chart that I drew, um, right, it falls below, it retests this old support as a new resistance and moves back to the downside. So the overall trend, we have an uptrend, we have sideways consolidation, and then we have a downtrend. Simple as that. Now it is harder when price is obviously moving, you have a lot to think about, um, but just try and make it as simple as possible and look at the larger time frame and look at the overall trend. Okay, so the next pattern that I wanted to cover is a triple top. So I'm just gonna go in order here uh, and let's go over the triple top. So we have the higher and higher lows uh, and then we approach the top here. And as we said before, right, we have rejection and rejection uh, a pullback to the previous resistance which will act as a new support i will draw a line here all right so previous resistance acting as a new support and then we can draw a line here right so acted as a new support bounced up and we tested this level again and if you want to confirm a breakout i always like to wait on usually the one hour uh, and if the one hour candle closes over the, uh, over the breakout level, then it would be confirmed. Um, uh, and you can continue to play to the upside. Uh, but since we rejected here, right? So we have three rejection points. Now, the more times a candle or a price test a certain level, the stronger it gets. So, right. So we rejected it three times. This now becomes a very strong level of resistance. Um, so if we went to test it again, ideally it would probably fail. Um, but continuing on, uh, since we rejected here, we broke through this previous resistance, previous support, uh, we broke through, we come back down testing this level, right? So this double bottom acts as a support again. This is, this is, this goes to show you how important support and resistance levels are this is like a major major thing that you need to learn if you do not know support and resistance um continue on this old level of support acts as a new support before retesting this old level again before coming back to the downside so again we have our uptrend we have our sideways consolidation rejecting the top multiple times a multiple top pattern and coming back to the downside. Moving on, the next pattern that I will be covering is the head and shoulders. Um, so here we go. Well, first, before I actually cover this, I'm going to bring up this little chart that I have here. Here is a chart pattern sheet. I've gone over this in previous videos. If you are new here, take a screenshot or uh, I have this posted in the Discord server. It's in the description below. You can join bull trades. I have anything you could ever want in that discord server. So make sure you check that out. Um, and here we are the head and shoulders pattern. So I'll be covering that right now. So head and shoulders, what is it? Head and shoulders is right. So we have our uptrend. We have our left shoulder. I will highlight this, All right? So we have our left shoulder. We have our head, right? Higher, a higher high. And then we pull back and we have our right shoulder. So now we have a head and shoulders pattern. This is a bearish pattern, typically at a top. Um, you typically see this before moving lower, not always, right? Nothing is certain in stocks, anything can happen, but there are probabilities and 
a head and shoulders pattern has a bearish probability. So moving back to support and resistance levels, right? We have a common ground of support and resistance. So this white line that I drew here is called the neckline. Uh, every head and shoulders has a neckline, right? So we have a support, another support, another support, uh, and ideally the level below, uh, you would ideally play puts or shorts to the downside. Uh, you can play the break of the trend line or you can play the retest, which is what I usually like to play. Uh, the retest always happens. You see it all the time. The retest you would want to enter. Where is my arrow? Right here. Right there, right at the retest. So this is an example of old support becoming a new resistance. Uh, and this bounce to the downside is confirmed once you break that next level of support. So you see how that works, right? So we retest. We come back down, we retest this old support, which was a resistance, and we move back to the downside. And your target is the next major area of resistance or support below, which is this previous level. So it's very simple. Um, at the end of the video, I will show a great way to find these patterns. It's an amazing method. It just scans for patterns. You can type in whatever pattern you want, and it will scan for them. Let's go on to the next pattern. Okay, so moving on to the next pattern, I am going to be covering a inverse head and shoulders. And for this example, I'm gonna use actual candles. That way you can see a legit example. Uh, so let's get into it. So an inverse head and shoulders is the exact same thing as a head and shoulders, but opposite, right? So a head and shoulders was bearish. A inverse head and shoulders is bullish. It's definitely a bullish pattern. So here we have our left shoulder, right? Left shoulder. We have our head and we have our right shoulder. So you see how it comes down, moves back up, comes down even further. Um, usually test an old level of support or resistance. So as you could see, it you know came close to this region. Um, nothing needs to be exact. It actually bounced right off this level to be exact. So this is an example of old support acting as a support. Um, and then we move back to the upside, retested some old resistance, uh, and came back down. This becomes our right shoulder and right. So, but like I said before, we always have a neckline. So you can see this level of resistance. We rejected that multiple times. And now after we complete the inverse head and shoulders, we move to the upside, we come back down, make this old resistance a new support uh, before moving back to the upside, consolidate, move up again. Uh, it's just the way that the market moves. So yeah, I really hope that this video helped you guys. Now let me cover how to find these using a website. So my favorite method to find different patterns is using Finviz. This is definitely been a huge help to me finding different patterns, finding different plays before they break out. Um, if you go to all, you can change the pattern, which is right in this column. And they have all of these different channels. So for example, I'm on the multiple bottom. And as you could see, it brings up charts with multiple bottoms. This is amazing. So AU, let's check out AU. I'm on the one day time frame. As you could see, we have a multiple bottom, right? So this is a double bottom right here. I'll draw the line. A double bottom, boom, with a common level of resistance above, right? So we have multiple rejections. As you can see, we have lower and lower highs, a double bottom. So ideally, this is going to, where is my brush? Here we go. This is going to come back down, potentially trip a bottom before coming back up, break out, retest before moving higher. All right, so this is exactly how a reversal works. Other than multiple bottoms, you right, we could check out multiple tops. It will bring up multiple tops. So for example, let's use um, ECL. I like this chart, right? I'm just picking any random chart, doesn't really matter, ECL. 
right? So we have a multiple top, one rejection, two rejection, a little fake out before moving back down. Um, another pattern that you know you can learn, uh, I'm not going to cover in this video, but a cup and handle, right? So there's so many different patterns that you can learn. Um, it's just another form of a rejection. So use this website. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. They have news by the minute or seconds even. Screeners, maps, portfolios you can do. Uh, crypto they have. It's really an amazing website. If you like this video, do me a solid and like the video. If you made it this far, drop a comment down below. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. And if you have any questions, either DM me on Twitter, Discord, whatever it is, ping me. I'm always available and I'm always looking to help you guys. I'll see you guys next time.